Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an endpoint to send the schedule notification using Chrome. So let's get started. As you can see, the Node.js application of the admin. So first of all, I'm going to install the Chrome in the Node.js project. So the command we have npm install Chrome. Let's hit enter. As you can see, Chrome installed successfully in our Node.js project. So inside the async controller, I'm going to create a new async function with the name send every minute notification. Inside this method, I'm going to create a variable with the name title. Let me define here the title like every minute notification. Second variable with the name body, where we have a value hello from body. After this, we have a device token. Let me get the device token. Let me add inside this course. Now, after this, I'm going to call the method from the notification service that we have sent notification inside the argument. We have to pass title, body, and the device token, and it will be a await. After creating the method, I'm going to export this method. So let me add here the curly braces. And with this, we have to pass the method name that is a send every minute notification. Now let's go to the five base route. Let me wrap this import with the curly braces. After this, let's go to the app.js and here I'm going to import node Chrome. So let me call it the instance that is a cron.schedule. I'm going to define here the time like when we want to send the notification. So I'm adding here the one minute. So it will be a async. Inside this, I'm going to call the method from the Firebase controller that we have send every minute notification. So let me import here. So inside this method, we have to call the method that is a every minute notification and it will be a await. And here I'm going to add the console.log to print the message on the console like sending every minute. Let me check what errors we are getting in the console. Okay, so we are getting the error that is a cannot find module node Chrome. Actually, the command that we have npm install node Chrome. Let's hit enter. As you can see, node Chrome installed successfully. And you can see here the version of the Chrome that we have 3.1.7. And you can see here, error removed. Now let's go to the UI. Let me drag this application into the right of the screen. As you can see, we are getting the notification. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.